Maxo spent the first eight years of life working as part of a peasant family. When his grandmother found out about Maxo, she brought out his artistic ability in him and inspired him to be an artist. Maxo studied at an art academy and as a 25-year-old student, he won a gold medal to honor his work. He then got married and migrated to America in 1934 and ended up starting his career in New York City to give him opportunities and more inspiration. He then created a philosophy, I painted so that divinity and becoming human would make humanity divine. Fast forward a few years, he went to St. Nicholas Church to create the most amazing pieces of art in the world. He started the murals in 1937 and then took a break, but ended up back in their church in 1941 to finish where he left off. In total, he painted 25 murals about faith, social justice, and cultural identity. The one I chose is a mural called Mary, Queen of Croatia and Arch. This mural was the first one that he made in St. Nicholas Church. People would describe this mural as a gift of America from him. The arch reads, Mary, Queen of Croatia, pray for us. Mary is also called the Queen of Peace, and she got this title from wanting to serve peace to the people. This mural is the central image of all of the murals in the church. It shows Mary holding Jesus on her leg with angels surrounding the side of them. The angels surrounding Jesus and Mary represent how God is always with them since he physically can't be on earth with them. The colors of her clothing also correlate to the royal colors of Croatia, which are red, white, and blue, which is shown on the mural. Mary and Jesus are also wearing crowns, which represent royalty. God chose Mary because he felt she was the only fitting mother for him because Mary was conceived by her mother in a way without sin. God also saw Mary as a very fear, pure person for that reason. This mural connects to the reading of the four loves and Lewis explains need love, which is a dependency love usually children have for their parents, or in this case, it is the kind of dependent love people have for God. One of Lewis's quotes is every Christian would agree that a man's spiritual health is exactly proportional to his love for God. But man's love for God, from the very nature of this case, must always be very large and must often be entirely a need love. This relates to Jesus because he was a child and depended on his mother Mary to raise him and look out for him. This could also relate to the real world because people also view God as being a need love for them because although God doesn't physically raise us, he shapes us into being better people.